Hi! For this video, this is the third part for nomenclature of alkanes. Now remember in the previous video, you learned about how we name our straight chain or branch alkane, unbranch alkanes. And then in the second part, we learned also how we name our branch alkanes. Now this is the third part. We're going to learn how we can name cycloalkanes. Now when we say cycloalkanes, these are your alkanes, just purely hydrocarbons, but cyclic structure so it's a closed structure sometimes it's a it looks like a geometrical shape but it's cyclic because it's a closed structure now how do we name our cycloalkanes now let me just anchor it on this particular example so that you'll know the series of uh, series of steps now the steps will not vary so much with how we name our branch alkanes. It's just more or less the same. However, the only difference is because it's cyclic, there should be a distinction between the, cy the cyclic alkanes and the ones that are not cyclic. So let's begin with this example here. It, you have, if you see a cyclic structure, all you need to do is focus first your attention on the cyclic geometrical figure that you see so when we focus here you focus on this area this is your cyclic structure then you count how many carbon atoms are connected in that cyclic structure so that means when you count that's one two three four five so that means it's like a pentagon so when we when we associate that with our alkane it's like a pentane however it's cyclic so what's the next step right after looking into our number of carbon atoms in our cyclic structure? So we've learned that it's a type of pentane. So because it has five, then you highlight that. The ones that will protrude out of the cyclic structure will now serve as the substituent or the branch of that cycloalkane. Then we name it, We before we name it, we have to number it. Now, You'll only number a cyclic structure if you have more than one branch. If you have one branch, no need to number. In this case, you have two branches. That means we number them. How do we number our branches? Now, we start numbering this based on what type of branch we have, based on the name of this branch. Now, look at the branch. In this branch, it only contains one carbon. That means it's a methyl branch. In the other branch, that's one, two. So two carbons is an ethyl branch. Now, between the two branches, methyl and ethyl, E comes first before M in the alphabet. That means when we number them, we number ethyl first, then the methyl. However, you have the option because it's cyclic, you can number it counterclockwise or clockwise. What is the correct way of numbering our cyclic alkane? The way to number it is you number it in such a way that the total of the, the branches numbers will be the least. Again, you number it in such a way that the total of the numbers of the branches will be the least. So if I will, sorry, if I will um, rotate, if I will number it from uh, here, from number one going counterclockwise, I will get one and three. So that's a total of four. If I will number it from here clockwise, that's gonna be one, two, three, four. So methyl will be four, one plus four is a five. So between the two, the counterclockwise and the clockwise, you know that the one that will generate the lesser value of the total will be the one with counterclockwise direction. So the correct way of numbering them is the counterclockwise because again, it generates the lower value of the total of the number of the branches. So the moment we number them correctly, then we are ready to name them. So how do we name? Look at the name. It's 1-ethyl-3-methyl cyclopentane. So it means it's just the same rule as the previous um, way of naming our branch alkane. 
you start with the one that's first in the alphabet as to its first letter of the branch. So again, we said E comes first before M. So that means we will name ethyl first. And since this has two branches, that means we need to emphasize the number. So ethyl is in carbon one. So one separated by a dash or a hyphen, ethyl, then dash again to signify the next branch. And it's in carbon three, dash, and it's called methyl. And then no space, the parent, cycloalkane is named cyclopentane remember we attach the prefix cyclo before the word pentane to emphasize that it's a cyclic structure so again don't forget to write this on your notes and don't forget to put some reminders to yourself on what you should remember when you are naming your cyclic structure i hope this example will help us organize our thoughts and be able to differentiate the, cyc the cycloalkane from the branch alkane and then the basic, the straight chain and branch alkane. So just some remarks that you need to remember. If one or two groups are attached to only one carbon atom in the ring, no numbering is necessary. This is what I said, that if you just have one branch, regardless of how many carbons that is, one branch only, no numbering is necessary because it's understood to be always in carbon one. But in the previous example, we had two branches, so that means we need to number it. Remark number two, if the molecule contains a chain outside the ring or the cyclic structure that has more, more carbons than your ring, then the molecule, take note, the molecule should be named using the rules for branch alkanes. So you go back to the rule of the branch alkanes. And what will happen to the ring? The ring will become a branch. And you name it, same thing, an alkyl group, but you attach the prefix cyclo to emphasize that that branch is a cyclic branch. Okay? So please, if this is too fast, don't forget to pause the video, write some notes, and repeat, repeat, repeat. Watch out for the next series of the videos for the more examples on how we can name our cycloalkanes. And there will be series of videos also that will explain how we reverse the process in case we're given the name and you are to draw the structure of that alkane. So stay tuned for the next series of videos. Again, this has been Madam Narka saying don't stop learning, relearning, and unlearning. I hope you can subscribe and share my YouTube channel to others. God bless you all. Bye-bye.